Hi guys and uh, welcome back. This time I'm back on to making the Ball Aero 1.8cc diesel engine and uh, this time I'm going to be making the uh, crankshaft. On the drawing it suggests that you could make this part and then you could press in a 4mm pin uh, for your crank pin but then it was suggested to me that it would be best to turn it out of a single piece and the best material for that would be a bolt, a high strength bolt. So this is a grade 8.8 .8, um, bolt. It's an M20 bolt and it's, I think it's about 50 or 60 mil long. And uh, it's probably slightly oversized. There's probably a bit more material there than what we need, but it's better to have more material than not enough. So in this video, we're gonna be turning this M20 bolt into our little crankshaft for the Bolt Aero engine. So we'll get it chucked up in the lathe and uh, we'll get some chips made. Okay, so I've now got that uh, bolt set up best I can. Um, that indicator I was using there, uh, the increments are 0.1 of a millimeter. Uh, I think I got it within 0.1 of a millimeter, um, which will do for this. There's a lot of material to come off it, so we uh, we don't need to be too critical at the moment. Plus, I had the indicator running on the threads of the bolt, so I'm not going to get the best reading anyway off there as it read as it travels up and down in the threads. I tried to get it right at the back of this bolt head where there's a bit of a flat with no threads on so um, I think it's uh, close enough at the moment it looks all right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn down the head of the bolt um, to the overall dimensions um, there is enough material in this head in the thickness to get the crank and the crank pin out of it crank pin I think is about four mil long so it, it's really small it's offset um, to one side obviously as a crank um, so yeah we're just gonna bring this bulk down to the uh, overall dimensions it might even become smaller than the thread um, the reason about this bolt is because of that thickness there but as I say I probably went a bit overkill on this. So we'll get the lathe fired up and we'll uh, start taking some material off. Okay, so now that'll do, there's still um, a bit of the galvanised uh, finish left on the end of there. Um, but we still need to turn the crank pin later on, so we'll probably lose that then. So, next thing to do is I'm going to just turn some of the threaded section, um, just so I've got something to indicate on when I spin it round. So I'll do that now. So I've got a bit of a, a reference turns down there, removed some threads just so I could get my indicator on there. It's uh, now set up, I've got it under um, 0.01 of a mil, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to turn this down, we'll finish this portion, turn it around again and we'll put the, put the, uh, the crank pin um, feature on the other end once we've got this turned down and then we can use this as our rotational reference for the offset for that crank pin so we'll get this turned down now ok 
Okay. So that's that back face finished in there. So let's have a look at what we've got left to do on this bit. Okay, so I've got a bit of a um, bit of a journal turned in there. There's a hole to drill in now from both ends. Um, it doesn't go all the way through. There's a tap hole to go in this side. Only goes so deep, and then we'll put a threaded bar in there, and that'll be where you can fit your propeller. Um, and then the hole coming up the other side from inside the engine that will come up to this journal and there's a hole to go in um, through the side but we'll do that in the, um, in the middle of the machine later okay so while we've got in this setup the last thing to do now is to um, drill in there and tap it for an M4 rod. So we've got the part uh, spun round again with the uh, crank end now ready to be worked. This is the last setup in the lathe for this part. We've got a, another hole to drill in the centre of this part down the shaft. And then the last thing to do is to turn in the crank pin. It's the first time I've turned a crank. So obviously at the moment I've got it set up on the centre for that hole. But then after that we'll have to set it up. Um, offset one way to get that to do the throw turning. We'll drill the hole first and then we'll set up to do that. So I've uh, actually changed my setup because uh, when I was trying to get this set up for the throw turn in for the crank pin the jaws to off center uh, the part were passing the halfway point so I've put now put that part in an 8 mil collet um, in a collet block and the collet blocks in the four jaw chuck and then I've offset that to work out the throw what I've done is I've took the throw dimension times that by two and when I'm indicating it I'm looking for the difference of that figure from the high point to the low point so in this case that was um, there's a 7.11 mil throw so I got a 14.22 difference from the high point to the low point with the indicator on this part and we can see it's Offset quite a bit now when we rotate it. So I've dropped the speed a bit because um, there's going to be intermittent cut and uh, there's obviously a lot of inertia there with it off centre. So I'm going to start turning this now and we'll uh, see how it turns out.
Three point eight eight. So we're all nine under, but that's okay. I haven't made the uh, con rod yet, so I'll be able to. Yeah, that might be okay. Point point oh nine of a mil. So now of the parts um, still in the collet block, but now in the milling machine in the vice. And uh, the last thing to do on this part is just to drill a hole in there so it uh, breaks through into this centre board hole, centre drilled hole. So it's just a 3mm hole I'm drilling in there um, and then that'll be it finished on this part. So there it is, the uh crankshaft for the Bolero engine is now complete um, I'm uh, happy with that this was the uh, part I was most nervous about making I think mainly because of that throw turning but uh, I'm happy with how it's turned out so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time